Parents and kids crowded the hallways of Blaine City Hall Tuesday evening. And this line of families isn't here for toys, devices, or gadgets. They're here for helmets. The SPM Fire Department and Blaine Police Department got together again for the 13th bike helmet fitting and sale. It started out of a need and grew into a tradition. Several years ago, we realized there was a definite need for helmets in our community. Unfortunately, as a result of some crashes and things we were seeing and responding to as a police and fire department. Um, so we sought out a vendor that we could get helmets at a reasonable price that we could turn around and sell to our community. Um, we made that connection with Bell Sport and we are able to get these helmets at a discounted price and turn around and sell them at that discounted price with the whole goal of just getting them on people's heads and trying to keep people safe. The helmets are sold for $10 a piece. They're top-notch quality and exactly what you would find in any department store for about half the price. So where does the money go? There's no profit made whatsoever. We just turn around and pay for the helmets. So it actually costs us to put on the event because of staff time and um, the time it takes to organize it, but we're not in it to make money at all. It's truly just to keep people safe. In fact, it isn't so much about the price families turn out for, it's more about the service. Because we started in our first years asking, what brings you here? What brings you here? And they were here to learn how to do it. So helmets are fit by the circumference of your head, not your age. And often they're sold and manufactured or marketed by age. And often people are getting the wrong size, so they're uncomfortable, too big, too small. So our goal is not just to get the helmet on their head, but to teach them how to wear it properly and to get it fit perfectly for them. That service of fitting helmets to heads isn't as simple as you may think. Officers were trained on how to properly fit the helmets. There's an entire science behind it. We want to make sure that it fits level on your head. So um, covering the front, our foreheads also, two fingers above your eyebrow. A lot of people wear them like a baseball hat, tipped back on their head. We want it to be level to the ground. We also want to make sure that it's snug on your head. When you turn your head, your helmet should go with you versus your helmet staying in one place. Although the main focus for the event is helmet safety, Andrea says the community gets more than officers simply fitting helmets. I think it's also really important for these kids to see us in different aspects of our career. Um, often kids have a different opinion about police and fire because of different situations they've been in. So to see someone in a uniform in a different light I think is really important. And to see some of those looks that we get at first there's fear and the next thing you know they're sitting on their lap. Um, so that's a lot of the fun of it. And just to see them so excited about their helmet that often they're wearing them out the door. So. It's a lot of fun. Who knew helmets on heads could put so many smiles on faces? For North Metro TV News, Takazen reporting.